There's this definitely a competitive nature, and especially in hip hop as well, there's a very competitive edge to that. So, and that's good because it breeds this really healthy creativity and that sort of innovation. And the other side of that is that I don't feel competitive with what I do at all. Because I feel like, for me personally, I'm, 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 I'm doing stuff in my own world. You know, people ask me, will like one song changes the style from the next, you know, the one that came before it, it doesn't sound anything like the, the one that came, you know, the one that comes next. And I don't, I don't consider myself part of any scene or anything like that. And I, I so it's kind of for me, it's interesting because I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on there really. Like I'm kind of incorporating elements of indie rock as much as I am electronic music or you know more songwriting based stuff as I am orchestral music or instrumental stuff. So I don't know. That's what drives me to to kind of keep keep going is sort of blending all those influences in mm -hmm. one. With electronic music or you know electronic based stuff, there's yeah like there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment, and there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, boundaries being pushed there, and it's just a really exciting time to be involved in all that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like yeah, the good of the way it's the, the, the whole set's designed is usually like the, the laptop crashing <laughs> or something like yeah. that, yeah, which has happened. It happens less nowadays, actually. I don't know why, but we've got a good system in place. But there's good ways of like, um, you know, just building in fail safes into what into what you do, um, and uh, you know, not relying always too much on the the pre-programmed stuff. You know, there's at least there's something that you've got control over. It's a conversation between you and the technology. It's not just. You, it's not just one or the other. It's not like there's a master and there's a slave. Either way, it's kind of it's a two-way street. Mm -hmm. And as much as you can make that happen, the more that when something goes wrong, you know, you, you're able to get out of that that dead end. So it's, that's 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 a good thing. We've had like it's usually festival shows because you're given so you get, you get no time at all unless you're headlining, which I haven't done really yet. You get like 10, 15 minutes to set up or whatever, and it's like, I have no idea, no time to test if this stuff is working or what. It's just like, oh, I got to plug in, oh, I got to play now, it's too late. And then if something goes wrong, it has to, it goes wrong. And that's, you know, festivals, that happens a lot. You know? Time as, as we can get, the, that that makes all the difference. You know, the monitors can be good or be bad or whatever. You know, the the, the PA could be great or not. You know, but it, if you need time to work out how to make the best of what you've got, right? And especially because it's not a band, when you're sound checking and stuff like that, the bass player can't be like sound checking while the guitar player sets up or the drummer sets up the kit or whatever. Everything's coming out of the laptop, right? So everything sound checks come out of this one device mm -hmm. and so you've only got a few minutes you know you've got to wait for the band before you to get off stage whatever that cuts into your time it's like yeah. it's it can be hairy it can be really stressful but then it, hopefully it comes together when you're playing and then, you know and that's and that, and that's all that matters I mean, we've learned the hard way to you know to to to, to work with these these time constraints these compromises mm -hmm. but that's the most important thing to me is, is the time we get, mm -hmm. both on stage and whatever the changeover is. We heard the sound creaking loud. I'm, I'm really like debating this internally at the moment mm -hmm. because classically I've been really, really involved in doing it. Like, just so present online on Twitter and, and especially Twitter, like uh, it's kind of an extension of it would be like my personal profile. It's not just like about advertising shows or right. stuff like that, but observations and stuff like that. You know, you're just, and this is that weird. You know, I think I think it has it, what it does is it creates a stronger connection between you and the, and the fans, mm -hmm. um, which can only be a good thing, right. I think. Um, but recently, I've kind of withdraw myself from it because I felt like it was starting to take 
I mean, this is just me, but it was starting to take over what I what I was thinking. You know, I was externalizing a lot of things for the sake of kudos, you know, yeah. for, for getting some affirmation back from it. Yeah. Just, it's just such a fucking weird thing to rewire your brain into doing. So yeah. I just got rid of my personal Facebook page and I'm like only using Twitter now for like the odd thing. Right. But that's that's just my personal thing. I think generally it is a good, you know, it's a good tool. Mm. Um, if you can be creative with it as well, and it's not just this cold hard facts thing, then, it can be really, it can be an extension of your art as much as your music. But what I think for new artists is they get blinded by that a bit. And some bands will come up, I've seen it happen. And if anyone asks me like, what do you have advice for like new people that are just getting going and stuff like that, well, ignore all that stuff at the start. Concentrate on getting your sound and right. writing a lot of great songs and rehearsing if you're a band or whatever and just really work on that aspect. So your Facebook page and your, your online branding and stuff can wait till later. Right. A lot of bands will go up and have like, you know, they'll have one really great song and like six kind of okay songs. Right. And But they've, they've like worked so hard on making sure their images are right and Facebook and they've got this many likes and stuff like that. It's like, forget about that stuff, right. you know, work right. on being, you know, work on doing your job first and then that stuff comes afterwards. That stuff's meant to augment what you do, not define you.